next to the last day of the Air Bit Counts Challenge. And finally, what I've been waiting for for the last couple of days to ripen, I finally have enough to do at least a small batch, and the next day or two I'll be doing the second batch. But we are doing pears today, and this is primarily for Grace. She loves pears, <laughs> and those little dole cups are so expensive now. So expensive. Um, so I'm going to do a few. There's no way I'm going to be able to do enough for her for the whole winter because, well, the pears are expensive too um, to do them all. But I, I like to do a little bit for her because I also know what's in them. Grace doesn't like any sugar in her pears. And I want to say David and I like pears too. Um, Aiden might. I don't know. But um, there's, are, these are primarily for Grace. She really, um, for those of you who are new here, we have two special needs children. Aiden has Tourette's syndrome and Grace has autism. And one of the things with autism is, is routine and eating the same things as part of that routine. And Grace typically has some kind of fruit with every lunch. Every lunch. It doesn't matter if it's pears, it could be apples, sometimes it's grapes, um, whatever we have. And it's different. It's Those are primarily the three that she eats. So I want to make sure she's getting some healthy pears, which I did pick up at our uh, local farm stand here a couple of days ago, and they are starting to ripen. So, um, before I did anything, I washed them all. I went through them all to see which ones were ripe and what weren't. Picked them out, washed them up. I peeled them and then we cut them. And I used this real handy dandy little core tool. I got, of all places, the dollar store. Totally worth $1.50 because that's what our dollar store is here. Absolutely worth $1.50. This thing worked great. And full disclosure, David helped me peel <laughs> because I'm doing this video a little bit late in the day because we decided as a family today to go out and do something fun. We went and doing a little bit of venturing, did a little bit of flea marketing, some thrift store shopping. We had a lot of fun. We took the kids for lunch and we don't do that often because one, it's insanely expensive for four of us to eat out. And two, it's really hard to find a place both the kids like to eat. Luckily, they both love Swiss Chalet. David and I like Swiss Chalet. We've never had a bad meal from Swiss Chalet and today was no exception. It was really good. So um, yeah, I'm getting this video done a little bit later in the day than I want, but hopefully our internet is fast enough. I can still get this uploaded in time for you all to watch this evening. So if you're watching it this evening, hi, this was filmed just a little bit ago. <laughs> okay. So I've got my pears all cut up and you can just do these in halves, but Gracie likes them cut up. And I've already started putting them in jars and we're gonna leave half inch head space. Um, and I also added a little bit of lemon juice. Um, I forgot to tell you that. I added some lemon juice too. That's just to keep the pears from um, discoloring. Normally I like to can them all in this size jar because this is pretty much a serving for Grace for her lunch, but I'm out of half pints. Like this is all I've got left for half pints. These four and these two and one little quarter pint. So um, we're gonna be doing some in the quart jars too. Um, and the recipe, the ball recipe for canning these is for our quart jars, so that's okay. We're just gonna still do them for 20 minutes and the water bath canning. And I also have some organic um, hot apple juice. Um, I, that's how I like to. You can add water if you want, but Gracie loved it when I did apple juice. Um, last year, she said that they were really good. Um, I like to do white grape juice, but finding white grape juice around here is impossible. I can't find it. So we're doing apple juice again this year. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't add any sugar because that would defeat the purpose of me doing them ourselves. And we are gonna do some pint jars. So she's just gonna have to eat from one pint jar for a week or two. <laughs> and that's it. Simple um, canning recipe today. And I have at least another batch that I'll be able to get done for her this year. But like I said, this won't do her all winter. It just won't. <laughs> if I can get a deal on pears, I'll try and do some more for her. But we still have a lot of pear sauce and pear butter from what I made her last year. So she has that also um, if she, when she runs out of the um, pieces of pear. My wish is that you don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'm running, and you should too, and hit that subscribe button. I know what you've been asking yourself. How can I make a difference? I'm just one person. I can make a difference, but I'm just one person. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that it's free, quick, and easy. Share this video on your social media and make that difference today.
going to bring these back up to boil and once they're at a rolling boil we'll set the timer for 20 minutes and that's it for this next to the last day of the every bit counts challenge Tomorrow, my hope and my plan is to give you a pantry tour and maybe do one more canning project with you all. And the pantry tour could take a little bit because, well, we preserved a lot of things this month. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, friends.